Okay. Now I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about te te teaching methodology for a second. I'm gonna make this real quick. Um, there's a reason why I teach things the way that I do. Um, if you notice, some of our projects are really scaled down. Like for example, many of my projects do not have MVVM unless I'm talking specifically about MVVM. Um, many of them don't really use Swift UI unless I'm talking specifically about Swift UI. Um, I try to scale back on all the extra clutter as much as possible so that I can kind of just get the point that I'm trying to make. And, um, you know, um, I think that that's very important because a lot of people, a lot of these tutorials out here, or not, not all of them, but some of them, um, there's just too much going on for a beginner to really understand. So um, I wanna talk about some of the general problems of teaching design patterns and unit testing concepts. One is when teaching unit testing, it's easy to get bogged down in the details of other aspects of iOS mobile development. And so, yeah, if I'm trying to unit test a function, right? Um, sometimes, you know, I can get bogged I, I in the lesson, I can get bogged down in writing out the view model, right? Or or even, even if I don't write the view model on camera, sifting through a view model, especially when other people don't even know what a view model is. Because remember, we have to talk to people that were teaching iOS mobile development as though they don't know. Because... That's why they're watching your tutorial. They don't know, right? And so, um, you know, um, I try to, you know, I try to, when I talk about unit testing, unless I'm talking specifically for Swift UI, uh, I feel the lowest common denominator is UI kits. Um, and I'll try to do that. Um, and same thing goes with other aspects, other program programming challenge lessons and things to that effect. I try to keep it as bare bones and as minimum as possible and just try to convey um, the concept that we're on. So when you see me like in this unit testing lesson, much of what I do is not gonna be exactly like you would do it in the real world, right? because I'm just trying to get the concept across um, of how to do something in particular, right? So of course, yes, I'm not gonna have this method in the view controller. I'm gonna have it in the view model, right? Right. Um, I'm not gonna call this networking service from the view controller, right? So um, yeah. Another thing is many of us teach programming as if we're talking to, a, I think I already said that. Well, many of us teach programming as if we're talking to a seasoned programmer or a computer science professor, as opposed to a beginner who doesn't know anything. So hopefully after watching my tutorials, um, you have a better grasp of the concepts that I'm discussing than when you, know, you have a better understanding after the video is over than you did before the video started. So um, with that being said, um, let us continue with the tutorials. On to the next.